I was in um, Naples, Florida this past Thursday to speak for a scholarship dinner for Ave Maria University. And um, it might sound nice that I was in Naples, but for me, it was hard to enjoy all the nice sun and weather because I was worrying about giving this talk in front of all these donors. So, but nonetheless, uh, I was there. And as I was there in Naples, um, I was able to learn a little bit more about the founder of Ave Maria University, Tom Monahan, uh, in conversations with uh, people who had helped him to realize the vision of Ave Maria. For those of you who don't know who Tom Monahan is, uh, he's the founder of Domino's Pizza, who began you know, the company with just one pizza shop and eventually sold the company for a billion dollars. He also owned the Detroit Tigers uh, and then when they won the World Series back in the 80s, and he had a large collection of these uh, incredible sports cars. He is the epitome of the American success story. And yet, this is not what he would want to be remembered for, though it's part of his story. Rather, he would want to be known for worshiping the Lord our God and serving him alone. That is, to be an embodiment of what Jesus quotes to the devil after the third temptation. In the third temptation, the devil offers Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them if Jesus but falls down and worships him. The reality is, is that the devil will not offer you all the kingdoms of this world and most likely will not offer you the success and riches uh, of Tom Monahan, but he surely will tempt you to place riches above worshiping God and serving him alone. But today's gospels and readings aren't strictly about wealth or money or riches or power. Uh, the heart of the issue is whether you serve and worship God or not. And if you're not serving God, you're ultimately serving the devil. Who are you serving? Are you really putting your God-given gifts uh, at his service? Are you constantly discerning God's will for you and your family's life? Because it's supposed to be an ongoing discernment, because the devil is tricky, just as we see in today's gospel, in the way he tempts Jesus. And he's tricky to us in a different way because he doesn't physically manifest himself as he did to Jesus. He doesn't manifest himself as some shady figure, you know, in a trench coat, sitting at a literal crossroads uh, with a contract and fine print in his pocket. Uh, if he did appear in this, in this trite way, uh, we wouldn't sign on the dotted lines to serve him in exchange for riches. No, what happens is much more subtle. He gives you riches in exchange for serving him, often without you being aware of it. For example, let's say you get offered a job on the other side of the country that offers you an extra twenty, thirty thousand uh, dollar bump in salary, and the devil gets you obsessing over how you could get a nicer car, a bigger house, uh, but he couches it in altruistic language and gets you to ignore perhaps other realities that you should pay more attention to. Uh, for example, it might kind of go conversation might go like this. Our car is old. It's just a 2018 model, and it's too small. It's a minivan, and you have two kids. Uh, and we need a nicer car, a bigger, nicer car, uh, not to mention that you're getting more luxurious. And so this is the way it kind of works. And what also the devil does is that all the while, when he's thinking about all these goods, you know, which are competing goods, and, and you might need them, um, he's also tempting you to think uh, or at least to ignore and not think about, is this really a good thing for my family? Will we need a new car? But does that good outweigh uh, moving my family away from other family or friends and their school and other support groups? Is it really worth the 20K more a year? These are the questions that the devil gets you to ignore or at least put little thought to. And this is why we need to be constantly turning to God and inviting him into all our decisions, especially the major decisions of our lives. Because if we don't, we give the devil a chance to work on us, to move us away from God, to quietly serve ourselves and thus ultimately him. That's why we need to go to Mass every week. That's why we need to have a daily prayer life, to be rooted in Scripture, to pray devotionals like the Rosary, and especially, if we can, to give some time and adoration to our Lord and that silence to listen, uh, His will for our lives, to, to, to give those questions, to invite Him into those big decisions. Um, and, and, and when we do, our Lord, who was able to be obedient where Adam failed, uh, shows us the way to life. 
Tom Monahan began to grow closer to our Lord and in devotion of Our Lady later in his life and wanted to serve them more and himself less. And he donated somewhere around $400 million uh, for the founding of Ave Maria University, my alma mater. And even more so than just simply giving all this money, um, you know, I was at the scholarship dinner. He, he constantly follows uh, the journey of this university and guiding it and giving of his time and, and his talents and even more treasure, I think, along the way in order to uh, do the will of God, this, that he believes that he's doing the God's work with this university. And so God's not asking you to give 40, you know, $400 million. He's actually asking you to give more. He's asking you to give your very lives to him in service and worship. He wants all of you, all of me. And it begins by giving all of yourself here today at Mass and every moment after. Serve and worship God, and you will have life and life in abundance. Serve and worship the devil, and you may have riches, but your ultimate reward is death.